Hi, this is Ron Gannett here in beautiful Saddlebrook, Arizona. And in our church family recently, we were, we've been talking about how to be a champion of the gospel. I'm sure a lot of people think, well, <laughs> that's easy for pastors or preachers or, or bold people, but how could a person like me be a champion of the gospel? How could I share the gospel with another person? You know, what? Well, we'd make it too big of a deal and too hard. I was reading in Colossians chapter 4 and verse 6, and it says, let your conversation, and by conversation he means you're you're helping and sharing the gospel with people outside the faith. Let your conversation be always full of grace, seasoned with salt, so that you may know how to answer everyone. I love that. <laughs> he doesn't expect me to go in there and beat people over the head of the Bible. He expects me to have such a godly lifestyle, to march to the beat of a different drummer in such a way that people are coming to me with questions. I have found that the more you talk to people and the more you investigate their life, the more open they are to learn about you and your faith. Uh, I heard a, a lady talk one time from the uh, Houston Baptist University and she gave three little questions that she uses with people when they're talking faith. Question number one is, well, what is it that you believe? What does that mean? And use the question of what. And when you ask people what they believe, nine times out of 10, they're sort of clueless and they can't really describe what they believe. And then once they dig that little hole, you go to the second question. You say, well, how did you come to believe that? And they realize, well, I don't know. Or maybe I had a friend or I, I'm not sure. And they discover that really there's no what or there's no how. And then the third question is why? Why do you want to believe that? Why do you believe that? You know, what does that do for you? Why is that meaningful for you? And you know, then after they're unable to answer the what, how, and why question, they turn to you and say, well, what do you believe? <laughs> and it gives you the opportunity to answer with conversation that's with grace, seasoned with salt, so that you can tell them your life story and what God has done for you. Susie and I often, we I have had neighbors come to us because they live next door to us and they talk to us. We are able to share our faith. On one occasion, this couple had gone through a very difficult situation. We had them over for supper and we went into the living room afterwards and I started just talking. Tell us about your life. Tell us about your faith. Tell us about your situation. And after they got done talking, they said, Ron, we want to know what, about you and about your church and about your faith. And we had the opportunity to tell them our story of what Jesus Christ means to us. My friends, sharing the gospel, the good news, is just telling people what Christ has done for you. And you give them that opportunity by showing them love, showing them grace, and having speech that's seasoned with salt. Oh, I pray that God will give you eyes that are open to see the people in your world today that need you to love them for Jesus Christ.